Hennessy. And like your boy from Compton said, you know this dick ain't free. I got girls that I should have made pay for it. Got yo, 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 what's going on, everybody? Ghetto Penguin Gaming here, and today we are on Mutt Head looking at Madden 18 players. Some of the new players that have just been released, besides the players that we're going to be starting off with in the beginning of the game. We are looking at right now Sean Taylor. Well, this is really interesting since the highest overall players I have seen before this was 90 overall. Or was it 90? No, 91. Excuse me, 91 overall. And now there's a 95 overall player. And this will be the master card starting off this year. I think I do believe last year's uh, Man 17's master was uh I think, I think it was a jo Josh Norman in it. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I do believe it was Josh Norman was the first master last year. Sean Taylor is the master this year. I think it's a great decision uh, by EA for uh, Sean and Taylor to be um, the master because, I mean, everybody loves Sean Taylor in Madden and, um, and in real life too, but um, especially in Madden because he always has that high hit power of 94. He's going to be starting off with which is amazing, incredible for starting off the game. Obviously, you're not going to be able to start the game off with him. Um, he's gonna, you're going to have to grind for him quite um, heavily to get the master and get this uh, Sean Taylor here. But let's just look at some of his stats quick. He's got 91 speed, um, 94 acceleration, 92 agility, 94 jump, which might come in handy. Um, I don't really know how um, the game and the defense is going to flow with the wide receivers this year. Uh, 91 zone coverage, uh, 78 man, 79 press, but he's also got 88 block shit. Now, if you're like me, you know how annoying it is to have defensive backs who cannot get off tack or blocks. It is so annoying. You have a pitch play or something, like some kind of run to the outside. Their blockers are blocking your corners, and they, you, you even, you even, if you even if you go onto them and user that corner, and you, just, you button smash the square or the X, whatever, you just cannot get off your block because they have such low, shitty block shed. Sean Taylor is the exception. He has 88 block shed, 89 tackle, so he will help in run support very well. 93 pursuit, 94 hip power, like I said before, and 81 catch. So he can give you some picks. The chemistries that he is rocking are Washington, the, rest, the Washington Redskin um, chemistry that every team or every player has, um, and the toughness chemistry, which look like will help his carry, um, impact block, which won't really help him, strength and catch. So nothing that's really gonna help him that uh, that much. Uh, but if you do do the Washington Redskin, that will help his awareness and play rec, which will help if he's a defensive back. Uh, great card. Now let's see what else they got. Alrighty, if you look at what we got on the screen, we have the level master, and that will be LaDamian Tomlinson. LaDamian, not LaDamian. Tomlinson, he's the level master, 92 overall running back. They have the Chargers version, um, like it should be. 
Looking at the stats right here is obviously not auctionable. He is a level master. He has 89 speed, 91 acceleration, 92 agility, 74 strength, 88 jump. Let's go over to the ball carrier stats. He's got 76 truck, 91 elusiveness, 90 ball carrier vision, 92 stiff arm, 90 speed, spin, 88 juke, 91 carry. And he's also, for the receiving stats, got an 82 catch and 84 route running with a 76 catch in traffic and 67 spec catch. Now, I am not really sure what a level master is. Um, I don't know if this was in the previous Madden. I don't know. Um, I know what a master is. I just don't know what a level master is. Um, making an early guess, I would assume that you need to get this card before um, you get the re the real master. Um, this is probably something you get halfway through your uh, grind to get the master. You have to fill this one out or whatever and then get the second one. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that, but this card looks says um, doesn't look incredibly good compared to uh, what's the other card that there was released? Oh, Marshall Falk. Okay, compared to Marshall Falk, this card doesn't really look that much better. It doesn't really look, I mean, any better at all. But um, it's not a bear, terrible card, especially for starting off the game with. If you get this card um, earlier in the Madden season, you will definitely dominate the run game. Um, you got the Los Angeles Charger chemistry and the toughness chemistry as well. But let's see what other cards they got popping. Alrighty, if you look on the screen now, we have a 91 overall Legends cornerback, Rod Woodson. Um, definitely, I think, a, a, a favorite in Madden. Um, wasn't in last Madden. I don't think he was in the Madden before that either. I don't think he's been in the past two Maddens. He is making a return into this game. A lot of people do favor this card. Um, for the same reason, they, they favor like a Night Train lane. He does have 83 hit power, which is very nice. Um... Any upgrades on this card will assume have um, very close to 90 hit power. Um, this guy got a little excited. Jeez. Um, he's going to have the Pittsburgh Steelers chemistry. And he's also got the blanket chemi blanket coverage chemistry, which helps his man coverage, press, and finesse move. Um, this is just a regular legend. I don't think there's anything special about it. Um, but he's got he's 6 foot, 205 pounds, 90 speed, 92 acceleration. So he's got good speed. Um, this is also very interesting. He's got... Almost 90 in both man and zone. 90 man, 89 zone. Um, kind of low press. Uh, not very impressed with that. But 92 agility, 91 jump, 86 awareness, 85 play rec. Um, or for run defense, he's got 83 hit power, like I said before, which is very nice for a corner. 74 block shed, which I'm not even gonna say anything about because that's actually pretty. That's pretty decent for a cornerback, especially starting off the game. 88 pursuit, 85 tackle, um, 79 catch. So uh, not not too bad. Um, it looks like a pretty solid card if it would load up again here. Um, I would assume that this is going to be one of the most expensive. This is probably going to be the most expensive corner coming out of the game. Unless the sets are kind of cheesy like they were last year. I know the beginning of the game, um, a man last year, you could get like a lot of legends for actually a pretty reasonable price because the sets were getting, um, the, the pieces in the sets were getting so low. So maybe if you do it that way, they won't be so expensive. But I do believe on the auction block, this will be one of the most expensive cards out there. Otherwise, let's look at the one last final card I have in today's video. Alrighty, last card, and this is my favorite card that was released on Mutthead today, or not, at least not today, but recently, Steve Atwater. I had Steve Atwater in Madden 16. He was my boy, Steve Atwater, reliable, had good hit power. He was just an overall beast for me, 6'3", 217 pounds. One thing I did fail to mention with the last Legend card and actually any of these newer cards is that usually the, the better cards do have multiple cards of the same player with different chemistry, so you can get the same card with the chemistry that you want to run. So just like this, the Steve Atwater does have a couple multiple um, different ver varieties of the Steve Atwater card with different chemistries, if that makes any sense. So one Steve Atwater has a blanket coverage. 
um, and the other one might have the other coverages or the other chemistry, whatever. So you can get the best of both worlds, kind of. Um, looking at his stats here, you got 87 speed, 91 acceleration, 85 agility, 78 strength, 87 jump, 87 awareness, 87 play rec, 80 man coverage, 88 zone, 78 press. Um, over for hands, he's only got 66 catch, so he's probably not going to be reliable, too reliable on um, interception wise. Run defense, this is where I like um, um, the best. He's got 92 pursuit. Um, 92 hit power, 89 tackle, and only 74 blocks, which isn't crazy good, but it's also not terrible compared to other defensive backs. Got the Denver Bronco chemistry and the blanket coverage on this card. You can also get Steve Atwater with a different chemistry. Um, yeah, so this is interesting how they're releasing more cards each week, even when the game has not been officially released yet. Um, I would assume that by the time the game does get fully released in about a week, there will be another set of legends um, released just like they did this week with Steve Atwater and um, with Tamian Thomas and all those guys, um, Rod Woodson. So this is very interesting. Um, a lot of new legends or some new legends that they're bringing back, some legends that um, have been missing from Madden in the past couple of seasons. So I do like to see that. Um, I do think that EA did a good job of uh, you know using some different legends last year. Um, as soon as, same, you know, they use the same legends quite a bit. Um, which you kind of assume because they're the popular kinds like your your LTs, um, Lawrence Taylors, and your uh, Damian Thomas, and those kind of guys are popular. Um, Munoz has been in the game for the past couple ones now, but I do like the legends that they're releasing. I am excited for Madden 18. Leave a like if you are also excited for Madden 18 to get released officially. If you are not subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe, hit the bell so you know when I release my next video. Otherwise, um, actually, no, 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 no. No, before I end this video, comment below what I should do next on either Mutthead, um, on Madden 17, the say goodbye to the game, or what I should do next. Otherwise, like, subscribe, hit the bell. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. Otherwise, I'm out.